after a national poll yesterday indicated Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren were effectively tied with Joe Biden. The former vice president's campaign on Tuesday stressed two other polls that they say more effectively represent the views of the Democratic primary electorate. If you have been a pollster for a long time, you can smell funky data, Biden campaign pollster John Anzala and told CBS News campaign reporter Bo Erickson of yesterday's Monmouth poll. You're not doing anything wrong, it's just statistics. Anzala and argued yesterday's less than 300 sample size poll was an outlier and would have been rerun if his shop returned a similar poll. Trail Markers More More In Trail Markers The weekly morning consult poll on Monday evening and Tuesday's Emerson poll indicated Biden maintains his lead in the Democratic field, with Sanders and Warren trailing. Biden's deputy campaign manager, Kate Bedingfield, also told MSNBC that polling shows Biden has support from a diverse coalition of voters, including African-American primary voters, that will be key to winning the nomination. From the candidates Kamala Harris, the California senator got some flack online for sharing the entire Monday night MTV Video Music Awards performance of artist Lizzo. Colorful, vibrant, joyful, unapologetic, powerful. How could you not love it Lizzo, wrote Harris. CBS News campaign reporter Stephanie Ramirez says Harris included a Litso track in the summer playlist she released in June. The Litso song on the playlist, Like a Girl, starts with the lyrics, Woke up feeling like I just might run for president. Litso, however, has been tweeting about other candidates recently. On August 24, the artist posted, I hear a lot of about Bernie Sanders being too old to run or be president. Dot, but we've currently got a 73-year-old in office so drop the ages of s asterisk 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 and just listen to what he's got to say. Meanwhile, the Harris campaign has announced an endorsement from Emerge America co-founder Andrea Steele. Emerge America is a national organization that focuses on electing female Democrats across the country. Capital C of E R A G E I N the House, a day after Rep. Sean Duffy's resignation announcement, all eyes are now on a special election in Wisconsin's 7th Congressional District. Duffy himself, who wanted to spend time with his soon-to-be ninth child, told WSAWTV, anything can happen, in the special election, but pointed to President Trump's 20-point win in 2016. I think what's interesting is who's getting into the primaries from both sides. I'm sure you could have five or six Republicans, five or six Democrats, he said Tuesday morning. Wisconsin Democrats have also begun special election efforts and announced a North Central Regional Organizing Director to cover Duffy's district. We're better equipped than ever before to organize teams and partner with our county parties to talk to voters throughout the 7th Congressional District in the months ahead, Democratic Party of Wisconsin Chair Ben Wickler told CBS News Political Unit broadcast associate Aaron Navarro. Governors Manson era, some counties are reporting malfunctions with touchscreen voting machines on the day of Mississippi's gubernatorial Republican runoff between Lieutenant Gov. Kate Reeves and former Lieutenant Governor Bill Waller Jr. The malfunctions range from automatically switching the vote from Waller to Reeves to broken party locks that allow different party voters in the primary to cross over and vote again, Mississippi's Secretary of State told CBS News Political Unit broadcast associate Aaron Navarro one machine in Lafayette County was replaced Tuesday morning, but the machines are county-owned and it is the responsibility of the parties in the primary election to test the machines. Waller responded on Twitter that his campaign has received similar reports from multiple counties. Let's block ads. Why?